He was the um, the librarian for Ilian, the Ilian Public Library, and he is no longer. Travis, Travis Oliveira is in here right now, and again, you're the only librarian I've ever interviewed. <laughs> and when I first heard we were going to have a librarian on, I was like, um, this was quite a while back. I'm like, this will be a quick interview. But, <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you have surprised us. Librarians are fun, too. We can be, yeah. yeah. Not all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Just Some. like radio personalities. That's I would want to have dinner with everybody. <clears throat> That's a very good point. Uh, and by the way, you were uh, one, uh, I, I didn't realize that you're quite a, a great horn player. Uh, yeah, I've, I've uh, dabbled around a little yeah. bit and been in wedding bands for uh, 10 years, maybe. Okay, and you're playing now with Showtime? No, I've, I've uh, played with Showtime a couple times. Uh, my main group was Soul Injection. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've been around a, a few bars in my day. Okay, well, nice. yeah. see, this is what makes him different. That's what it is. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Uh, okay, so you're now at the Hamilton Public Library, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So um, they have to, I had said, uh, you have neat ideas, uh, ideas that are, I think, very helpful to libraries today where we have computers and people just sit at home and they don't go out to the library like they like maybe they used to. Um, but you have all different, uh, like the trading program that you had with uh, where you get to take out a, um, a tool mm -hmm. uh, done down in Alien. I thought that was really clever. So someone apparently was impressed and uh, <laughs> you, were, you had a bit, a bit of a job offer here. Yeah, uh, it was a switch for me. I wasn't really ready to move yet, but the opportunity was there, and I'd, yeah. I'd kick myself if I didn't go for it, you know. Hamilton's a great town. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us what's unique about that library. Uh, well, right now I'm still finding out more information, but it seems like they already have everything in place that I wanted to do, so uh, it's going to be harder. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> what's the, well, what's the, the Boy Scout motto, something like, leave it better than you yeah, found right. it or something like yeah. that? Um, I found Hamilton to be pretty well off so far as okay. far as library services go. Mm -hmm. There's a few things I can change to try to um, to make it a little bit better, but uh, the previous director did a really good job. That's bad. You're in a bad I position. I know, right? <laughs> Whenever I would, uh, my favorite radio jobs were always when the station was like 13th in the in the ratings, <laughs> because it's like, hey, look at the hero. I'm gonna come in, and yeah. you don't have to. But you go in and they're number one. Ooh, that's <laughs> yeah. not a good position to be in. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know, one of the things I wanted to do was to try to get them some museum passes to check out, like I did right before I left at Ilian, and they already have one. Um, uh. So they've already started that program, and now I could just continue it on. So I don't really have to be the big idea guy anymore. Okay, just, really cool. Like I said, just keep doing what they're doing. Um, uh, well, um, and what else? So when you left Ilian, um, you, you left with a, with a lot of different changes, some of the things that you've done. I uh, got rid of late fees. Um, That's a big thing happening around that's yeah. becoming pretty normal, right? Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah. I'd like to think that it's it's becoming more common because that's something that definitely might stop somebody from coming in right, the library. Right. And uh, yeah, there's about half the mid York libraries in the area are, are fine free. Hamilton is not. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm still looking into it, but I, I don't know if that'll work for them. <laughs> They're pretty okay. strict. Uh, that's huh? the thing. I mean, no, it's, no two people are the same. No two yeah, communities yeah. are the same. I, I have to take a look and see what'll work for Hamilton. Um, we did the tool thing over at Ilian, and then the the last big thing was just getting the children's museum passes uh, to to circulate out to their mm -hmm. patrons too. And uh, you find when you're going to the to the one in uh, in Hamilton, it's a different community. Yes. Um, so the needs are different. So would you see a need for the tool program there? Well, the the big thing is that there's no space for it. Okay, um, that right. was the nice thing about Ilian. They had a basement that was empty. Okay, uh, so I got to figure out how to fill it yeah. um, but this there's not a lot of space in there mm -hmm. um, but there's still a lot of opportunities they have the farmer's market that comes there all summer uh, every Saturday right outside the library okay so I really nice. want to take advantage of that and yeah. uh, try to get those people that are already walking by just to turn at least uh, yeah, use yeah. the bathroom I don't know um, <laughs> and, and then it, they have uh, my wife and I will get down to the uh, my wife loves the uh, the Colgate bookstore Mm. Um, so, and that Hamilton is just such a neat little, uh, neat little town. It's really yeah. Between cool. the bookstore, the arts center, and us, there's a lot of activities for yeah. for people to do. I, uh, the bookstore is is great. Uh, when I thought of a couple programs to do, I looked over and they were already doing it. Yeah. They're doing yeah. uh, kids baking program. I think mm -hmm. they're doing yoga. 
for kids again for free. I mean, it's it's just things that I would naturally try to do, but yeah. now I don't have to. Mm, so okay, again, it's finding that thing that's missing from the village and, and trying to yeah. fill that need. So how do we? Uh, so what is the future of libraries? <laughs> right. I <laughs> oh, mean, boy. it's a tough question. Well, I, they're still going to be funded as mm-hmm. as far as everybody knows. So it's not like they're struggling. Right. Uh, the the basics set up for their support is already in play. Uh, they just have to adjust a little bit to the times. Um, you know, just like we don't have to play by the same rules as all the businesses around here. If we don't have a good year, that's fine. Right. We'll just have a better year next year. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you can make cuts as much as you want. It depends on every library. But um, there's circulation is up. Books that are published are up. Um, I'm seeing a lot of new people all the time um, that are always coming up to me saying how they use the library. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, but and whether that be for books or even yeah. internet, there are a lot of people that don't have that high speed internet, and and going to the to the library can be a, of a benefit. Yeah, one of the things that impressed me about Hamilton was they have uh, a much higher circula- circulation rate of the ebooks um, for a smaller population area. Um, I had no idea that it was so big over there, so that's something that we can really focus on too. Um, yeah. But the other libraries should come up to to speed with that too, and it, as time goes on, it'll only get used more and more. So, that'd be, so that's interesting. You have access to the ebook for a certain amount of time, and then it, you just yeah, it don't have just access like to it Yeah, it's just like a checkout. It sort of uh, leads okay. itself from your, your Kindle or whatever you use to read it after about two weeks. That's really that's, – that's a cool oh, program. that's interesting. Yep. They have audio books there, too. You can stream movies and music. And Okay. All right. <laughs> Love the audiobooks, and but I being attention deficit, I, I really struggle. Um, I do a lot of rewinding because uh, <laughs> I'm say? going down the road <laughs> and my mind goes over here and it keeps playing. It doesn't it's stop. They they need something that when your mind goes to the right, <laughs> uh, the the audiobook is paused. Just whatever you do, don't <clears throat> yeah. sue the library if you get an accident. Okay, good Please. point. <laughs> All right, and, and, and about this museum program that you guys put together in Alien, this is really kind of the children's museum. Yeah. This is kind of cool. Explain how that works. All right, so if you want to go to the children's museum in Utica, you can go to the Alien Library and get passes for free and just return them after a week just like a book. Uh, when I put this into place, I was really excited about it, and I thought it was really revolutionary. And yeah. I, I put out a, a letter or an email to all the mid-York directors, and about 10 respondents said, oh, we do that with this museum. So uh, <laughs> so it's already... That's uh, great news, yeah, uh, because yeah. you can go to the Adirondack mm-hmm. Ex- Experience Museum through a couple places. The Even Hamilton has the Stone uh, Quarry Hill Art Park, I think, okay. in Casanova, it's yeah. called. You can go to the Oneida Community Mansion through Cheryl. Uh, I've got a bigger list of them, but okay. um, yeah, those, I think those are pretty much all the museums you can go to through the library system right so now. So libraries today are offering far more than uh, than what they uh, what they used to. It's just not just all books. Uh, That's right. I thought this would, was was a nice thought to wrap on. Is that I was going to try to come up with something funny about Ilian and Hamilton or something, but so I Googled when in doubt where where would I go with this, and the first thing that came up when in doubt go to the library. Mm-hmm. I swear that came up. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> Well, here's the beauty of the library, and and the scary thing about Google is we. And this was during the Letterman. Uh, Letterman has this monthly show that he's doing now on Netflix, and he talked about this. It might have been Obama that was talking about it, uh, but there was a. Uh, it was a, a bit of a study that was done, probably not scientific, but three different people with political views. You had a moderate, a liberal, and a conservative. Each of them Googled the same phrase. Um, it might have been the same word. Each Googled Donald Trump, let's say. And the conservative, the results that came up, the top result was a positive story on the economy and the president. The liberal, uh, an impeachment story came up. And the, the, uh, the, the, the moderate was something that was, uh, I don't know, it was more of a touchy-feely type, type story. It wasn't really hammering or... Or, uh, or complimenting. But isn't that funny that what they're doing is they're reading your, they're following your habits, they're tracing your habits, and they're giving you the material they think you will like. So now you're stuck in a bubble where you don't get to learn anything new. You're just getting the old stuff. Whereas if you go to the library, uh, no one's going to come up with, you're not tracking their habits and saying, no. we're only going to let you go down this aisle because we want you to get these books. So it's it's more free thought, three uh, free thoughts. In fact, uh, we purposely don't track your uh, your checkout so that we don't have to hand anything over to the, to government, the government. Right, if that were to come up, so right. 
you can opt into that if you are the person who forgets what you've read before. Mm. Um, <laughs> right. I do because I've got so many kids' books I've read now that I uh-huh. I have no idea. So, you uh, might so it's nice and be to like, have that reminder then, say, you actually did read yeah, this before. Got it. But you don't have to have that. Right. The, you have to opt into that. So the, the default is that we don't track anything you do. All right. Uh, and where are you playing next? Are you playing in a oh. band anywhere? No, somewhere? I'm uh, I'm still just uh, filling in when, when I can. When I, can. I stopped right. when I had the kids, pretty got much. Got it. Understood. All right. Well, Travis, yeah. congratulations on the promotion. Thanks. And good luck uh, out there in Hamilton.